Bill and Elaine, this is uh, a glimpse of the work that not many people get a chance to see too often, and that is the uh, act of restringing the piano. Um, these are tuning pins that have been put in, and you can see that in this area, uh, the pin block, which is directly underneath the plate, is part of the whole case of the piano. And each one of these holes is drilled by hand and a special drill is used to lean the, the hole back so that the tuning pins have about a five to seven degree tilt back like this because the tremendous tension of the strings pulling on it, it wants then to straighten out. And over here underneath, you can see this support. This is supporting the pin block during the restringing procedure because of the heavy-handed kind of driving that I have to do in order to get the pin in uh, and uh, tight. Now, these are the canisters of the strings that I use uh, that actually are shipped to us uh, in this spool and then they're put into canisters up here and then uh, for the ease of doing this I just pull on the string and uh, or the wire and each one of the wires is then matched to the scale of the piano and you can see these numbers here 15 and a half 15 14 and a half and so on the strings get smaller and smaller and thinner in diameter as we approach the high treble. So, what I'm going to do is put on my ear guards here and actually show you how the wire is affixed to the tuning pin and the procedure for getting it in place. really important that I get the correct number of windings on this coil. You can see how I'm doing this on the tuning pin. And the part where the wire enters the tuning pin should be at six o'clock. around the hitch pin and then very carefully measured <laughs> and cut. Now watch out this will fly away. And then the wire is passed under here. Tightens up the coil, and then I 
want that center string to be roughly in that place. We're going to put a little tension on there. And I can see there's a little bit of string that's not completely flush. Now I look down here and I can see that that is a little bit too far over to the left. And I give it a tap like this. The center one has to go over a little bit as well. Make sure things are neat. And then open up a little bit more. And then I can go on to the next string. Backing up just a little bit, you can see that these bars in here, they're there because this part of the string has to uh, sympathize with the speaking length of the string. And that gives the Steinway that brilliance that uh, pianos of this quality um, have and give you the projection that you need uh, to really punch the sound out. So, that's the operation. Thanks.